what's up guys welcome back next match cross balanced cup so let's zoom in we are almost done i believe about five matches or four matches remaining um so it should be around yeah at least the, the grand final should be around next week ish uh so okay next matchup we have chaos chaos again so they got somewhat lucky on uh, their previous duel a couple of days ago they are taking on wineups i think this is the first time they meet each other i'm a bit cautiously at least i'm a bit cautious but um i feel that that, in all honesty, before this matchup, I would definitely agree with the people seeing that uh, wind-ups as an, you know, engine, not, not per se because they play a lot of traps, but more so because wind-up rabbit plus factory uh, plus a potential magician shark play, then again, shark master is not that fantastic, not that game-breaking as against, let's say, like the most recent or more recent decks. As we've seen multiple times before, but uh, as you know, like Chaos has multiple outs against that. It, it, it's like a scientist tribe and, you know, more DD Warrior Lady and stuff like that, right? If you call spells. Uh, so Chaos goes second. And um, this opening hand, the thing is that if uh, Wineups is able to start off with like Factory and Rabbit or Shark to get that plus off of Factory, then they are in a very good start. But this. <laughs> Both Yatta and Spirit Reaper connect, so that's cool. One discard at random, hit the Typhoon, that's the worst one, I guess. Sh well, Shark probably would have been better because, you know, there's always a potential Magician. Ah, oh, okay, Yatta well, was about the same Magician draw, but again, the Yatta lock was there. Or the Yatta effect. Draw Duster, uh, that might be good next turn, but uh, for now, I'm honest, it's not looking too great. Again, the Demog in hand, as we've seen multiple times before in uh, its previous matchups as well. Demog is always glued to the hand. It feels like... I just played some Master Duel and uh, always opening Driver. Always. I draw Driver more than, than Gamma. Every time. So this is not looking too good. Reaper, yeah, Reaper's not going to survive. I'm not sure what my set is. Is it Scapegoat? Is it Scapegoat? I'm not sure. But uh, Photon Papillar Operative normally, you know, is being used to put your uh, red, indeed, into attack position to reuse it, right? But here in this case, it uh, you know, targets your Spirit Reaper. And uh, as you know, Reaper, when targeted by a card effect, it will destroy itself. And I guess, you know, respecting the Mirror Force, but... Um, like in the long run, it's not going to matter. Again, forcing out the Zen mains. Again, Sini not that fantastic. Because again, if I set Sini, Zen mains would have destroyed it. So it, I, I guess just forcing out one material. But in the long run, here in this situation, this is not going to help. Plus, was it because of Wind Up Rabbit that the Magician got banished? I think so. So, instant loss. My, uh, my hand was well, going second against a couple of big pluses already. I can't overcome that one. But this is something different. So game number two. Both side deck, even though I don't think I side deck too much. Metamorphosis again, but that, that's it, I think. Uh, so again, the Demok. Always, always Demok. But it's fine, though. So Delinquent Duel right off the bat, and my set is uh, a DD Warrior Lady. I'm not going to use its effect because of the potential breaker, but I draw heavy. So I was like, nah, let's just go for Storm. Uh, go for Snatch Chill and Tribute Demok. Now it's cool that I draw it, right? Always. So get back Pot. Maybe I should have gone for Delinquent Duel to, you know, discard um, the last card in hand, which we knew was a, was a shark because of the factory, I think. I think so, no? Or at least because of that, right? If I didn't know that... Um, potentially going for at least prevent this that, that that's what I wanted to say prevent potential rabbit or uh, line up red right uh, it is all of this so okay um, Pepper operative hits the board but the end board is not going to be too threatening that's the thing with windups 2013 like the, the rank 3 and rank 4 exceeds aren't too threatening and the BLS is still there lurking in the background so I guess here the strongest play is maybe you can do like uh, Adrius no it's is it Adrius the, the Dark Rank 5 to pop Demok, but I think I have Mirror Force set. I think so. And uh, I guess you you would have crashed with... Ah, it's Call! It's Call. Okay, so imagine going for Adrius. The game would have been a bit different, but now I can just, you know, capitalize on the Utopia side effect. Crash with DD Warrior Lady and then Suicide into Zen Mains. And uh, I mean, this is still fine, right? Again, the Papaloprativ is not too threatening. I'm still at a hefty or a healthy amount of life points. But Zen Mains is popping the, the Demox. So again, that very similar uh, hand gain number one. But I thought that graceful. Like the, the perfect, perfect time to set up Light and Dark. I'm not sure if I already had Light and Dark here. Get in for some damage first. And then use Magical Scientist on 
it's such a broken card for thousand ice restrict again that thousand ice restrict cannot attack directly but here in this case you know just getting rid of the zen mains that otherwise would have copped something in the end phase and here again solid i probably should have used uh, scientist for rio senshi if i'm honest but uh, it is what it is ah well i i don't know yeah maybe I i'm thinking about potential other cards that senshi doesn't hit yeah book of moon uh, I mean, Typhoon is, was 100% game. Okay, so game number 3. Again, I guess you could go for like Zen Mighty or Normal Summon Red, potentially go for Shark, Zen Mighty for Rabbit, but that doesn't look too strong against, you know, board wipes, etc. So I guess Thunder King is okay because it also prevents painful choice. Okay, that's cool. But this Zen Mayo, oh, I underestimated Zen Mayo. It has to target two phase downs. And, you know, chaining Call preemptively or activating Call preemptively would have done nothing, right? It doesn't really matter uh, because I still had two sets. But I still need to set those, right? Because of Mirage. Flip over the Duster. Apologies. But um, again, it's not looking too great. Um, like, back behind the wall, I draw Raigeki, though, and that Raigeki could be very important. Um, but again, if I don't draw Mystical Space Typhoon, I I'm sure that, you know, I need to discard three cards at random during my, what is it, my next draw phase or standby phase? Standby phase, I think. Um, but yeah, as I mentioned before, like, this doesn't really seem too threatening, right? Okay, Zen Mayo pops too, that, that could be cool. Uh, okay, yeah, Pepelo Operative gets rid of Reaper. Zen Mighty is decent, it's just a big beat stick. Uh, the Giga Brilliant as well, so I get that graceful. And like, hoping that the Geki is not discarded, so I need to discard three. Draw phase plus Simi, I think, right? So, okay, so three cards from, what is it, seven cards? And, ah, uh, Geki is discarded, so I need to bank on a potential Dark Hole. Draw BLS again, that's cool, but warning says no, and it, it's game over. Um, yeah, I mean, the codes is not going to matter too much. Okay, so, I'm behind, but okay, game number four, setting three. Uh, I don't, do I need to fear the storm? I'm not sure. But these traps, they definitely help out. You know, using Torrential early, because again, I don't have a monster. That, that's cool, because I wanted to keep the Ring of Destruction, just in case if I do have a monster, I'm not forced to use Torrential. Um, so I, this might seem strange, like a Typhoon into another potential Dust Tornado or Typhoon, but I feel it makes, makes sense because of this. Reaper on a Nightmare, an old school card. Normally the card special summoned from Magical uh, Scientist cannot attack directly, but if you morph them, you can. And uh, Reaper on a Nightmare, a very similar to Spirit Reaper, cannot be destroyed by a battle, and it can attack directly. Uh, let's say if your opponent has a monster, it can still attack directly. So, you know, attack those potential combo pieces in the hands, and those discards again keep me in the duel. I'm honest, I think I discarded Shark and Magician, so I mean, you know, th that's pretty much a big combat play. And here, here is why Scientist is such a broken card. If your opponent is not able to deal with it, I can just, you know, special summon like any fusion, level 6 or lower, I think, from the extra deck over Senshi that the one that negates traps. And then I can freely drop Envoy, use a priority, and, you know, get in for some damage. But, um, yeah, you know, you can't risk the potential Snowman Eater, right? Uh, because, again, I'm, I'm full control of the duel. Again, a potential Mirror Force or Torrential Rio Senshi says no. Ah, so, so nasty, this one. Okay, so, um, yeah. Again, another 5-gamer. Pretty much all of the past week's videos have been 5 games. So, again, very similar types of matchups. So, this opening hand is not the best. Not the best. I immediately have to commit a, a scientist. Do you know, get back in the game, right? To use those resources. And Imperial Order might be the card that keeps me at least in the duel here for that first turn. That crucial first turn. So, draw 2. And again, I don't want to let my opponent to search with, um, what you call it, factory. And of course, I don't want to discard later. I lose scientists in the process. I'm not sure what my set is. I draw Storm. So I was like, oh, no, let's, 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 this is fine. Let's just, you know, keep the grind going. Order is there and I th my, my back row is crucial. Ah, it's a Torrential, right? And that's indeed crucial against this matchup. It prevents potential wind-up shenanigans, right? And, oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. You're not ready for this. So, not pay for Imperial. Use Heavy Storm. Use Dark Hole. Use the Link Wind 2 to, to discard two cards from my, opponent hand, my opponent's hand. Normal Summon Reaper to discard the last card. <laughs> ah, yes, gotta love Chaos. All the banned cards, at least pre Rata or whatever, but you know what I mean. So, back to top decking. And it, I think the set is Compulse. I guess you, you could use Compulse on Kiko. So, I would not, be, would, would not have been able to, you know, banish both Sharks. So, a potential Wind Up Red top deck would have been uh, cool. Um, 
But then again, I, I think Zen Mighty is already gone, I'm not sure. So I use Snatch Steel going to the battle phase because again, I'm super low on life points. The combos definitely make sense. Uh, just Leaf Reaper in defense right main phase too. I still have Monster Reborn. I believe the strongest card I can reborn is my opponent's Thunder King, which already are in the graveyard. I can't use Painful Choice. So I was like, okay, let's go for a potential suicide, see what happens. That collects so I can use Painful Choice, get a couple of dead cards from my deck and, you know, make Sini life. You know, the Demog is getting back or added to the hand and, you know, Confi and etc. are gone from the deck. So now top deck. Uh, but again, I have that Sini that I can, again, set for some potential crucial defense. Um, okay, so get heavy, you know, those 1-4-1 one one trades, this is fine. Draw goats, okay, goats in this situation is also okay for more defense and, you know, potential Chaos Emperor Dragon could potentially, you know, turn the, turn the game upside down, right? Draw pot, ah, pot of greed, top deck, so let's go. Draw two, eventually due to pot of greed and draw Emperor, immediately drop it, but get warning. Okay, this is fine, set witch, we've seen how important witch is, you know, as it was in the previous match, searching tribe. And here that top deck tour guide, that's of course cool. Zen Mighty into uh, Magician, use wind up, um, what is it, rabbit? And I believe this could be game for again Papal Operative. I mean, the Mirror Forge is still potentially there, but I think you maybe you could go for the risk. But uh, luckily, it's against Scapegoat, against Scapegoat, like like previously, right? In one of the previous duels and the last match. So Goat keeps me in the duel. I was able to search out Dry, but again, I'm super low. I need to top deck something. I draw Morph, the one of Morph. I'm going for it. Go for there. You know, suck up the Pepelo operative and then Thousand Times Restrict can attack. It's the only monster that can attack. And again, all other monsters cannot switch their battle position. So now I'm fully back in the duel. I can potentially get Demok on field for a big swing, but that monster reborn again that was so crucial but again i feel like i'm somewhat in control that my stroke again is not the best but again it's very similar to zen Mains with that protection effect draw yata that's not the best so i opt to um, you know keep the pressure going uh, get my opponent's life points as low as possible draw two at least discard two because of tribe but the senior still set so hopefully no top decks but again the wind up rabbit is still there so any level three would two ah yeah would, like leviathan for game yeah, Leviathan for game. Any level 3 would have done it. So that, that's maybe my mistake. But um, I think I have to go for it. I, I think I have to keep pushing. I, I You know, I, it's just why should I put uh, Tribe in defense, right? I draw a BLS. But let's go for it because this should be game. Unless there is like any potential trap, Venus chain or whatever. And there is no response. Like this, in all honesty, was a big ass pull. <laughs> If I'm not mistaken, like like the, those delicious plays from Chaos, it again comes in clutch here in this matchup. So, ooh, really, 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 really nice. So this is and again the last match in the upper part is a rematch. So again, Chaos versus Yatalok. Uh, no, uh, Chaos Yatalok versus Infernity. So next one, uh, left side losers bracket. We have Drytron versus Adamant Sabater. So again, feel free. To leave your predictions. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a card or like if you enjoyed the video. Leave your sign out. Peace.